how to plan the coming partial lunar eclipse occurring on uh, September 17th or 18th, depending on where you are on Earth, depending on your time zone, step by step. Hola, photopillers! Uh, the bar here. I'm here with my little Daniel going for a walk. And I want to take this opportunity to uh, help you plan your lunar eclipse shot. The partial lunar eclipse that will be occurring on September, in September on uh, the 17th or the 18th, depending on where you are. In Spain, it's going to be on the 18th, in the US on the 17th. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, to plan the lunar eclipse shot, the partial lunar eclipse shot, let's go to photo pills, tap on the planner, and now the first thing you need to do is to place the red pin where you are. I'm in Madrid, I have the red pin in Madrid, and tap on the layers button, and tap on, I'm gonna switch off the sun layer, tapping on the eye icon next to the layer, because I don't need the sun to, uh, to plan the partial lunar eclipse, and then tap on the eclipse layer and choose the September 9th, 18th, 2024, partial lunar eclipse will occur during the supermoon, and the full moon on the US, um, on the America is going to be on the 17th for sure. So because of the time zone. So tap on the eclipse you want to plan and go back to the map. And now if I zoom out on the map, you have the areas in the world where the eclipse is visible. You know, that is going to be visible in most Europe and uh, Africa and the Americas. Not in uh, Australia and New Zealand, uh, Japan, Asia, China. I'm sorry guys. You need to come to Spain or the US or Africa or South Africa or South America. Uh, very cool. So I'm planning here in Madrid. So I'll zoom in Madrid. And then next step is going to be to swipe the top panel to the left until I get to the eclipse panel, which will give me the faces and the times of, uh, of the eclipse. So what I'll do is I'll tap on dual and press on the uh, when the eclipse is maximum at 4.45 a.m. here in Madrid to set the time to the time bar 4.45, okay and yeah, the eclipse uh, the time is set to the time bar 4.44 uh, because of the seconds I suppose the rounding uh, the panel is rounding to, to 45 but the time bar is, says it's 44 4.44 a.m. and on the map I have the direction of the eclipse uh, this thin blue line you see in the map is the position of the moon during the when the eclipse is maximum and on top panel i have a picture of the eclipse and i'll change the time swipe in the time bar so you can see how the eclipse evolves how the penumbral eclipse begins and then the partial eclipse begins too and uh, and then when it ends as you see uh, the shadow the strong shadow of the earth the humbra will not cover much of the moon uh, just a little bit. It will be like uh, you see the moon with a little bite there. Uh, okay, but let's plan a shot for the time when it's maximum at 4:44, 4:45 or less. Okay, so do one press again on the, on the time on the face you want on the map. So uh, uh, on the top panel. So on the map you have where the clips will occur. Okay, I'm in uh, in front of the Palacio Real now. So I'll tap on the plus and I'll tap on the GPS button to place the ripping where I am because this way the moon or the eclipse will be above Palacio Real and if I tap on the AR button hello Daniel, here we are <laughs> you see that the moon is pretty high in the sky so probably and I'm very close to Palacio Real so I don't think it's gonna be a good shot for to include the Palacio Real here you can include it but the moon will be super tiny you won't be able to see the, the eclipse but if you want to shoot only the face of the eclipse, this is a good shooting spot. You live in Madrid because you have the moon in the sky without anything blocking it. Very, very cool. I want to show you how the moon is super high in the sky. So the face of the eclipse is going to be uh, my target goal here. So just shooting the moon. Of course, I can, I can also take a shot of the, of the foreground too. So yeah, that's it. Once you know the position of the moon, uh, the eclipse during the day, you, should, you know the time, you know the position of the moon in the sky, uh, you can shoot a shooting spot, you could align it with a subject where you live, the moon is low in the sky. This occurs in the areas where the eclipse is visible during, you know, uh, moonrise or moonset, which is in Asia and in the Americas, in the western side of the US, the western side of, the, of Asia. In those spots you will be able to maybe align it with something interesting. Here in Spain we'll go only for the moon phase. 
this is how you plan your clip shot. By the way, you wish to learn how to plan the clip shot aligned with the subject? Watch this video. Okay, now you wish to learn how to photograph the partial lunar eclipse. I invite you to download our super detailed lunar eclipse photography guide. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video and in the first comment below. And as always, if you, like, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next Wednesday in another video. And remember that you have the power to imagine, plan, and shoot legendary photos. Bye. Bye bye, Daniel. <laughs>